So in this video, we are going to just check what are the locations in Office so Microsoft Teams. This is the reporting labels tab. So reporting switch is, um, for example, uh, it's all labels and uh, that you put on different locations, IP addresses, um, each on the internet, each uh, uh, public IP. Uh, it yes it is for the uh, device but that device is at a place uh, it could be in a university like uh, an, an office and we are so familiar with the 192 that's for the homes but for all these enterprises and all um, institutes they have a public IP address and under that they have all of their uh, networks and lands etc so for example in Columbus we have three offices at three different locations uh, one is or maybe more uh, one is the phone center then one is us there we deal with the uh, customer service in internet and phone we do sales and we have a mobile uh, floor like a whole floor for uh, providing support for mobile and we have a corporate uh, floor so you see all and then there is another location that's a whole warehouse and then there is another location that i believe it's uh, all corporate level stuff but you get the picture so each location has its own ip address and then rather than to go by those ip addresses and memorizing where they're and it it will get crazy if you in just one city we add, uh, we have four offices that I know of there could be more and then you know nationwide it's gonna be a lot more so these labels they you put them on and it's easier for you to uh, differentiate where that network is so it could be by address it could be by numbers it could be by um, like uh, location tag it could be anything so it's just for easier uh, for you and for that you have to create one you can upload location data in a CSV file it says right here so for that you can download this template you can fill that up and then upload it by here from here and then upload and they will labels will appear here and that's how you will know so it's like somebody will do you will not have to do it yourself it will be a team that will get those IP address and put it together for you to upload so the second one is emergency addresses this one is very interesting if you go to any job especially if it involves working on a floor and they give you like on the orientation they will tell you uh, who is the person to call uh, for emergencies and what is the procedure for emergencies um, if it's fire which way you have to go which elevators to take and if there is there is a like a gather up point that all of you have to meet at there in case of uh, that thing then if it's like a matter of for example if it's a big big building and you're calling in for help then you don't want uh, emergency responders to show up on your front door you know and then asking hey where is that person so they have their usually a personal or an office in inside that is located for as an emergency contact and that same concept or idea is in 14s as well that uh, if it's an emergency and then you want to call you can call in and you will be con you will have to add this information here and you will be contacted there so you, it it's must say office yes so it says like a building place building or floor office because at the front lobby you will have just a security guard who's monitoring mm, cameras and just signing in people in and out it's not like an emergency response guy there so that's always a different personnel So it could be uh, on location by location. It's not like, for example, 
there's an emergency we have four location like I mentioned and the emergency is in my building and or you are calling about that and your call gets connected down in Florida or Carolinas or New York that will be way so you can add all of them here and configure them in a way that they will be connected to that one so if you click add it can ask you put in a name for your location so if you say Columbus if you were to say nope like Columbus and let's suppose we are Columbus 1 and it is in the United States then you put the enter you ad enter the address here I'm gonna go with this one 700 Rocky Point way the reason for that is I don't want to disclose my address if I can help it right Rock. Rocky just pick anyone yeah so Rocky Road Ford Collins no that's not good. the zip code does not match so I'm gonna go with Tennessee and you know this it shows up in the map it shows you this information location identification number you can add that it's that and you can save it and it will be added let's go and save it that is just one you can add more and it item was created so I could add more here and you can see some information like how many voice users are phone numbers from the, for this location uh, is it possible to edit it further yes I think you can we can add places and voice users from here so number PSTN connectivity is the public service transfer line uh, telephone lines and you can add uh, numbers here places you can add and enter a name like a floor or suite number so that's how it's done at a location we could do that we get to this screen and we can uh, change it if we wanted to then there is the if I can go to locations here and we can add it this one we get, go to the exact same screen so that did not work and validated address status so it validated means that the that that address actually does exist and finally we have network topology this network topology is about uh, how like some of the phone they may be using internet but some of them may have to call using the public network service may like AT&T Verizon anything and they will charge incur so they want to you can do that and you can see link network region so if you can put Europe or Asia anything that will define okay this is related to that one it just policies that you will define and you will apply to different uh, users or numbers or phones for that matter so this is the policy like emergency call calling policy what it is are they allowed they are not allowed and how if they are allowed to call in emergency from within the United States or from uh, like they are they allowed from another country or not so all that subnet is uh, it's networks within networks if that makes sense so we have five floors each floor can have its own subnet so all of those computers they are free to talk to each other but if they wanted to talk to uh, another computer that's on another uh, floor and that floor has a different subnet than ours then we need a router that will connect us because the reason is that uh, when the computer will send the message to that IP address that is not in our subnet the router is the one that tries to locate it outside of our network uh, it's a little bit like uh, networking thing but that's how you do it like you and enter the uh, subnet and network range like how many computers are there description and you add it and you can add different subnets and 
so this is pretty much it for the location again you will be given this information you will be or somebody has already done it and you will be just uh, implementing it so i'm gonna wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one